Okay, back to studying. Uh, welcome back to this week's edition of Cantonese Studying. I hope you had a good week this week. Um, I did. I had a lot of time to study this week, so I was doing a lot of studying of different materials, uh, doing some practice, speaking and listening with some language learning partners. Uh, so I'm really excited to uh, continue on with you all here. We're going to finish the current dialogue we've been working on, the freshmen. So we have two chapters left for that today. And uh, of course, our, our typical flashcard review as well. So uh, stick around and we'll we'll work through this together. And uh, at the end of the stream today, I'll tell you what we're going to work on for next week. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so keep in mind this story we've been working on is called The Freshman. And it's mainly been about uh, the narrator getting used to living in Hong Kong. She was coming over for a teaching position. I believe we'd seen in the first chapter that she was uh, born in Hong Kong, but moved to the US rather young, I think when she was still a baby. So chapter 13 and 14, which are our final two chapters for today, uh, go over some general household items. You'll see chapter 13 here is furniture and electrical appliances. And then the last chapter, chapter 14, is uh, I think it's basically the narrator's questions, like general questions about uh, presumably about living and working in Hong Kong. Oh, and if you're just tuning in, uh, weekly tea update. So uh, this week I've got uh, basic green tea. Uh, it's a favorite of mine. I'll typically have this at least a couple times a week. Uh, next week, next week I'll try to have something new, but this week is a basic green tea. Okay, so on to chapter 13. So we have furniture and electrical appliances. Ga si din hei. So, as always, we'll go through the vocab first, then we'll listen to the dialogue and piece together as much as we can by listening the first time. And then we'll read it out loud so we can pick up on any of the understanding that we missed. Listen to it one more time as we follow along and then proceed to the next chapter. So first in the title, Gasi, I think that's the same Gasi I've seen for like furniture, furniture company. So that's interesting. Uh, Dean, we've seen Dean before, so this is like ele electric or electronic. So Dean C is TV, or Dean Low is computer, um, and then Hey, Hey is, I think this is a word that just means like gadget or appliance. device, yeah, device, tool, so kind of like a small-ish uh, item. So furniture and electrical appliances, so it makes sense. So then vocab, we have ho toy, which means lucky or luckily, yao tai sai, there's completely have, Yao Tai Sai Dai Bo Fun Most Dai Bo Fun Gasi Furniture Tan Toy It's a dining table So we've seen Tan before which is like restaurant or cuisine Tan like Tan Tang uh, and toy is table, so it's basically eating table or dining table. Then we have dung, which is chair. Sofa, which is sofa. Fong, which is to put, like to place something, I think. Dean C, television. Uh, Hi-fi is stereo, then day guai, TV bench, 
So that must be a, like a TV cabinet or a TV stand. So this is the same, I think this is the same guai as in uh, refrigerator, like sh I think it's sheet guai. Sheet guai. Ice box refrigerator. So you can see the guai here. It has the mo like the wood on the left hand side. Mo so five. This one here. And then it has this box with this other thing in the, in the middle. I don't know what that component is in the middle, but I know that that character is guai is covered. So the guai TV bench. Hai guai shoes cabinet. Tong bed. Yi guai war, like a wardrobe or a clothes cabinet. Uh, shi guai shi guai bookcase. Shi toy is a desk, so it's a book table. Makes sense, like a desk. Uh, and then yi ga. It says that's Ikea, that's pretty funny. I don't know, is that actually Ikea? I guess, I guess we can uh, trust them on that. Let's double check though. Yeah, it is, Ikea, interesting, okay. And then second paragraph, we have Leng Moi besides Dean Hay. Electrical appliances. Yik do also. Shikwai refrigerator. There's the one we just looked up. Sai uh, ge washing machine. So wash, clothes, machine. Sai ge. Gon yi ge is a dryer. So gon is, uh, that means dry. So, uh, an, another example of gone would be like, no, you gong, no, you gong, which is a uh, jerky. Oh, this says parking fine, but yeah, it's also jerky. So this is saying beef, cow, ngao, yo, meat. So cow, meat, gone, dry. It's jerky. And then they're using the gone part, the dry part. So gone, yi ge, drying, dry or drying clothes machine, clothes dryer. Uh, and then we have mei bao microwave. Next we have dian si ge, television set, gum which is like a filler word means sort of uns and so on. Not necessarily a filler word, but like a kind of like a glue word to connect multiple phrases or lines of thinking. Then we have jong, which means still. Sai, which is small. Zige is oneself, like ngo zige do blank. I by myself, I myself did this thing. Lodzi Gezo. Then we have Dean Fan Bo. So electric rice boiler or pot. We learned pot last week. We learned the word for pot, which was Bo, and then we learned another word for kettle. I guess it's also, also Bo, right? Like uh, bota. Bota. I don't think that's correct. This is pauta. Let's do this. Kettle. Oh, here we go. Tabo. Teapot. So you bow, kettle. Oh, there we go. So it was the ones we learned last week. We learned bow, but we also learned 
wool, which is cattle, so I wool. Okay. And then last one for paragraph two is Tong Dao, which is iron. So on to paragraph three, we have Bo, which is MW. I forget what MW means in this PDF, but it's for machines. Let's check on that. What does MW mean? You know, I, I don't know if this PDF tells us what MW means. But it's something to do with machines, so we'll keep that in mind when we read. Okay. Next we have Sao Tai, which is portable. Then Sao Tai Dean Lo is a laptop, so it's a portable computer. Then we have Da Yan Gay, printer. Fong Bean, convenient. Ho Yi, is can or willing or able. Sarang Mong, Sarang Mong, is access the internet. Zhou, is to do. Ying Mun, is English. And then last one is But Gay, is a note, or maybe this is a verb that means to note. Not sure yet. Okay, so that's the vocab for chapter 13. So remember, this is all about electrical appliances. Probably going to be describing the different purchases for the home, or maybe just describing what exists in the new home. So let's take a listen. 第十三課家私電器 好似雪櫃、洗衣機、乾衣機、微波爐、電視機同HiFi咁，但係仲有一啲細嘅電器係冇嘅，要自己買。好似電飯煲同燙豆咁。我仲買咗一部手提電腦同一部打印機，方便我
the furniture. Hot, such as time toy, dining table, dung, chair, sofa, sofa, phong, phong, din si, phong, din si, tong, hi fi, get, day, guai. So a TV bench for putting the TV and the stereo. Hi, guai, a shoe cabinet, tong, tong, yi, guai. So a bed and a wardrobe. Dan hai li gan uk mo si guai. Oh, it was a. <laughs> I thought they said no refrigerator, which I thought was odd, but it's actually no bookcase. Uh, so mo si guai tong si toy. So no bookcase or desk. So I yi ngo zao hai zao yi ga ga si. Yi ga ma ga si mai. So had to go to the IKEA. To buy those that those items, and then second paragraph. Ling wai ho da din he ye do yi jing yao. Oh, so they already had. Besides those items, there are already a, a lot of the electronics that were there. Okay. Ho qi shi shi guai, sai yi ge, gan yi ge. I'm not sure if already have means that she already has them or that the unit already has them. I would assume the unit. It has to be the unit because she wouldn't have brought the fridge and all that from overseas, right? If that's the case, I just kind of find it odd that the narration is explaining earlier that there was a TV cabinet for putting a TV, but then only later says, oh yeah, by the way, there's also a TV, which is kind of, maybe I'm misreading it, but that seems kind of strange. Yi Ging Yao, Ho Chi Shi Guai, Sai Yi Ge, Gon Yi Ge, Mei Bo Lo, Din Si Ge, Okay, so I did catch that part where there are still a few small items that they don't have. Uh, so you need to buy it yourself. Ho chi din fan bo tong. So need to buy the such as the rice cooker and the iron. The two examples of things you need to buy. Okay, and then last paragraph we have so furthermore bought a laptop and a printer which makes it convenient to go online and it says basically do an English note I guess it means to just like just to write I suppose Okay, so that's not too bad. The whole this whole chapter is really just a list of appliances, so I feel like the sentence structure themselves were pretty basic, but it's a lot of new words, so if you're not not used to the new vocab, it can be kind of challenging. Okay, so let's listen one more time. This time we'll follow along. <laughs> Ngodo
、鞋柜、床同衣柜，但系呢间屋冇书柜同书台，所以我就去咗宜家家私买。另外，好多电器亦都已经有，好似雪柜、洗衣机、干衣机、微波炉、电视机同 HiFi 咁，但系。仲有一啲细嘅电器系冇嘅，要自己买，好似电饭煲同烫斗咁。我仲买咗一部手提电脑同一部打印机，方便我可以上网同做英文筆記。Yeah, much better that time.、Uh, just gonna take some practice of those particular appliance names to get used to them. Okay. So here we are. We've arrived to our last chapter for the freshman. It's just simply called questions. So, muntai. So, kind of like issue or question, muntai. Made made pretty short work of this、uh, this story. I'm pretty happy with our progress on it. So. I'm excited that we were able to continue to do three chapters a week. I think that that was pretty good, a pretty good pace for us. All right, so on to the vocab. Likeyat, likeyat. These few days, mong, busy. Yube is to prepare. I think that's a synonym for junbe. It's another way to say prepare. Gao to teach. Yingman English, Lingoi besides, Sik Ying adapt. This is the same Ying. I just learned this the other day. So、uh, to say you should do something, we know that you can say I wish to Ngo Sarang, or I want to, or I need to, like Ngo Yu. But to say you should, you can say Ying、uh, Yingoi Yingoi. So ngo ying ngo ying goi. I should do something. Ying goi. So this is the same ying that is in this word. Looks like right. Yes, it is. So sick ying is to adapt. Sang wu is life or lifestyle livelihood. Sang wood. Tin hei, tin hei is weather. Zhen hai is really. Gui is tired. Then on paragraph two, we have, yi cai, moreover. Dam sum, to worry. Um zi. Don't know. Hok Sang, which is student. Jung Jung Yi, like or not. So this is like a question. Le Jung Jung Yi sick. Li Di Ya, do you like to eat these items, these things? Mei Guo, it's America. Asar, male teacher, polite address for policeman. Dim Yang, how? So contrast with Dim Gai, Dim Gai, which is why. Dim Yang is how. Gao Shi is another way to say teach. So teach books. Gao Shi means to teach. Fang Fa is a way or method. So you can have a method to do something. Yik Do, we just we just learned that one a chapter ago. So that means also. Hom Hoi may or may not, and then Dun Hai again means really. Then we have Bong Do, which means to help, can help, so successfully. We talked about this a while back as well. So Do is like added to the end of a verb. It can mean. Successfully completing the thing. So, in this case, the word help is bong. So bong do is kind of successfully helped, versus 
uh, or can help versus bong m do. You add the negation in between the m bong m do could mean like not able to help. And then finally for chap uh, paragraph two, we have zong zi in short or anyway, so it sounds like in summary maybe. And then last paragraph, we have bak guo, however, m gan yu, it doesn't matter, zhong, which is still, hoi ha, start school, so hoi means to be to open or to start, and then ha is to study, so start school, hoi ha, do si, until that time, di do, to know, lei zi di do, do you know? Man tai, it's a question or a problem. And then dot on is answer. So it sounds like a lot of uh, her employment, so related to her job, the reason she came to Hong Kong was to uh, was to teach, teach English. I'm curious if we're going to find out in the very last chapter that this is a a male, a, a, a man instead of a woman, because I made that assumption, like I said, in the first, uh, the first video of this series for this particular story, that I was assuming it was a woman because they didn't really tell... All these stories that are narrated, they don't really tell you much about the narrator at all, so you kind of have to kind pick it up by context clues, but uh, the fact that they had this a uh, sir, I'm assuming that maybe one of uh, he or she's students is saying this, so we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a listen while I get this set up for when we read. This looks like that's paragraph two. Where's paragraph one? Here we go. Here's paragraph one. Okay, first listen. Nigay 不知他們的英文怎樣不知他們喜歡我教書的方法 Okay, so this was saying that uh, the narrator these last few days has been very busy. They're um, buy, they, they, they were bought, busy, they bought a lot of things as we noticed or mentioned in the previous chapter. Also preparing a lot of the English teaching materials. Uh, so, ying man gao si ge ye, the English materials. And then also said that they were very uh, stressed out, worrying a bunch, so damsam, about... Oh, oh, before that they said that they were adapting to the Hong Kong lifestyle as well as the weather, uh, living there in, in Hong Kong. And then said they were worried about... Uh, this is where it gets fuzzy, but something about if the kids would like an American teacher and also uh, if they would be able to help the kids and kind of something about the method of teaching. I don't know if it's whether the kids can adapt to the narrator's method of teaching or, or if the teacher doesn't know what the typical Hong, style, Hong Kong style or method of teaching is. And then, and then at the end they say that they're not worried because they still have a week 
before school starts, and then at that time they can get their questions answered. So something like that. Okay, so let's read through it, see how we did. So these last few days, very busy. You my gum to ye, tung my yu bay gao ying man ge ye. Need to buy so many things and prepare uh, so many things to teach in English. Ling oi yao yu sik ying hern gong ge sung wood tung teen hay. Zai got that ho gui. So besides that, need to adapt to Hong Kong's li life, live or lifestyle. And the weather, really feeling tired. Uh, moreover, I'm feeling a bit worried. So, I guess this means the narrator is a man. Uh, because they're, they're saying that, you know, they're not sure if the students will like an American a sir, which here is saying is a male teacher. Uh, let me scroll up so you can see that a little bit better. So right, the whole sentence from the top says, so I don't know if their English how uh, don't know how their English is what's the standards of how good they are uh, and don't know if they will like my teaching method so so also don't know if I'm able to really help them. So in short, uh I have a lot of things I don't know. There are a lot of things I don't know. Okay, and then last paragraph of the last chapter. So, however, it doesn't matter. There's still one week to go uh, until I need to start the school term. At that time, I'll uh, know the, the answers to these questions. Okay, so listen. we'll listen to it one more time as we follow along so we can get some reading practice with the characters and then we'll be done with this this short story Dai sap se fo ni ge ya ngo dou hou mong yu mai gam do ye tong mai yu bei gao ying man ge ye ling ngoi yao yu si ying hong gong ge sang wu tong tian hei zhen hai gao de Hongkong Okay, 
Okay, great. I think this uh, this chapter was a bit easier for me this week than uh, chapter 13 because there was there were fewer new proper nouns or other noun words. A couple of really interesting other kind of glue words that I didn't know. So I think that uh, so yikto is something I've started recently seeing more in my other offline studying. That one's interesting. Also, this, let's see, this zhengzi, zheng zhengzi. I may have seen this one other time somewhere else, but that seems like a, a good one to know. It means in short or anyway. That seems like a really good word. And then I'm seeing this do si more often now until that time. Uh, and then finally, dot on. This was something I wanted to know the other day. I wanted to ask a a question of someone, but I forgot how to say answer. So that on seems like it's the solution or the connected word with muntai above it. If muntai is question and then dot on is the answer. So that pair of words seems like they could be useful for doing some some sample sentences with. Okay, so that was it guys for guys and girls for the freshmen uh, let's scroll down just to make sure quickly we're not missing anything else I think this is just all the exercises yeah it looks like exercises here here's the link to the material again this link is as always the links for the material we study are always in the YouTube descriptions uh, but uh, I want to give this uh, this website and this group of uh, people shout out because this material is actually pretty pretty good material I would say it's kind of it's slightly you know beyond a absolute beginner but it's it's very doable for anyone who's done any amount of studying of Cantonese I think this is like a good set of material to dig into introduces a lot of new words um, but but yeah I think it's kind of a good level where it's not too challenging, but it's challenging enough where if you don't know all the vocab, you can certainly pick up some new words and some new sentence patterns. So, okay, so we're done with that part of the stream for today. Now we're going to do some more vocab review with our flashcards. Um, so I, prior to the stream, I, I'm always lately updating our filter deck that we started doing where we're trying to study words that we may have just learned in the preceding chapters that we studied. So now that we've done all 14 chapters of the freshman, this sh deck should have all of the associated words across all the chapters and will allow us to do some summary of uh, the entire contents of the book or the story that we just read. Okay, so let's get started. Yu Bei. Yu Bei. So this was prepare. We just learned that one today. Yu Bei. While I'm thinking of it, let, let me pull up the the synonym, the other word that I was mentioning, I think is uh, similar to this. It's Jun, Jun Bei. Jun Bei. It's preparation, prepare, Jun Bei. And it looks like the Bei is the same. Yeah, it is. So I think these are basically synonyms. They're probably interchangeable. Jun Bei or Yu Bei. But Guo. But Guo is like but, similar to Dan Hai. But Guo. However. What's with it? What's up? How's it like? How? So Dim Yang. Dim Yang. Tin hei. hei is weather. Tin hei. Mantai. Mantai is a problem or a question. Mantai. Mzi. Mzi is you don't know. Mzi. Mzi. Uh, this is Mei Bolo. Microwave. I'm pretty familiar with the second and third characters, ba and lo, but the mei is not a character I'm that familiar with. 
Mei Bo Long. So Mei Bo Long. Portable is Sao Tai. Sao Tai. To regard as, to figure, to calculate, to compute. Ah. Uh, well, to regard as, you could say Da Xun. Da Xun. Oops. Da Xun. I, I don't know what this is asking for, though. Oh, Xun. Okay. Xun. Xun. So that's to regard something or someone. So, Wo Da Xun. Wo Da Xun Kui Hou Mang. So I think you could say something like that. Like, I regard or I think. No, maybe not that. You could say Wo Ge Duck. I think that they are busy. Uh, you could, though, say something like <laughs> I think that they're lazy. So I think it's like how you regard someone, like their personality or their or something. Like, I regard this thing as being high quality. Something like that. I haven't, I haven't seen this in very many sample sentences, so that's probably something I need to practice more. Hok Sang. Hok Sang is a student. This is a Bo. So this is... Uh, how is this used? It's, a, it's department, so Bo, Bo Moon is department. It was used a little bit differently in the dialogue, but it basically means department or section. This one is Fong. Is this the one that means to put? Fong. Yeah. Washer, washing machine would be Sai Yi Ge. Sai Yi Ge. Sai Yi Ge. Bed is Chong. Chong. This character is Sai, which is small. Sai. Sai. Sung wood. Sung wood. This is like lifestyle or livelihood. Sung wood. Sung wood. DNC is TV. DNC. Uh, television set is just Dean CK. Dean CK. Icebox or refrigerator would be Shi Guai. Not to be confused with Shi Guai, which was a uh, bookshelf. So it says Shi Guai. Shi Guai. Uh, to teach is Gao or Gao Shi. Gao Shi. Fei Gei. Fake is a plane ticket, or no, a plane. Fake. Uh, and this is uh, Hong Kong, of course, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Tai Ha. Tai Ha is to have a look. Uh, remember that Ha is kind of, you add Ha onto the end of something, that means sort of like a little bit of that thing, so... Tai is to look, so Tai Ha is to like have a look, have a quick look. Uh, you see Ha at the end of a lot of different words, and it kind of means that like smaller or quicker version of the verb. Tai Ha. Tai Ha. Nothing much, not very special. Uh, you could just say Mho, maybe, it's not good. Oh, Mhai Geo. So I should have probably known that. Um, it's this kind of negative of a positive. So ho is good. And you're rather than saying bad, which might be mho, you're saying not very good. So you're saying mhai, not gay ho. Gay ho is very good. Like ho ho or gay ho is like very good. So it's not. Mhai, very good. Mhai ge ho. So I'll mark that as again for myself. I probably should have known that more precisely. Uh, jo ye is to do something. Jo ye. 
好彩 is lucky。好彩。Uh, Zhang Sao, I think, is to renovate. Zhang Sao. Or decorate, renovate. Chutsai, Chutsai is、uh, to be born. Chutsai. Chutsai, Chutsai. Is it a long A or a short A for world? I guess that's say, say. So it is short. It's not say. It's say. Chut say. Just kind of like in English, you can use the yu ping, this romanization, as a bit of a clue on the vowel, or yeah, the vowel part of the pronunciation. So if it was two a's in a row, it might be long, like say, but it only has a single a, so it's say. Uh, an example of sai might be,、um, or the long a, I should say. An example of the long a would be this sai, which means completely.、Uh, let's see if I can find. I can't really find a good example of it, but if I say like gong sai, well, they don't. They don't have a. They don't have it in the dictionary, but Bing Translate should、uh, be able to show us an example of this. So Cantonese. Okay, it just says I said that, but Sai is like completely. So Gong Sai is like you said it all, or Sik Sai, you ate everything. So that might be in here. Sik Sai. No, that one's not in here either. Okay, so. Yeah, and the translations are are not always that great either, but th that's the point being that that's a good way to help you inform your pronunciation. If you don't know the character already by heart, you can use the yup ping to help with your pronunciation.、Uh, both because if you don't know the character, of course you you won't know how to pronounce it at all. But then when you're looking at the yup ping, I find that sometimes. You know these romanizations; they're just kind of an approximation. They're they're pretty good approximation. They they get you ninety percent of the way there, but you know you you have to get a lot of listening of how to actually say it to kind of get the last ten percent. Listen to a native speaker say it, or worst case, use the TTS. Although the TTS, you got to be careful because the TTS is quite often wrong,、uh, particularly with the tone, but. It's better than nothing. So、uh, between the romanization and listening, preferably to a native, but if not, then the TTS can get you most of the rest of the way there. And then it's just practice, right? So you got to practice speaking a lot. So chutsai is、uh, to be born. This is munfa. This is culture. Munfa. Munfa. Munfa, culture.、Uh, this one is Gaze. Gaze. I think this was reporter. Gaze. Gaze. Yeah. American. American person. 美国人。美国人。做 is to do something. So, so.、Uh, hing tai, hing tai is interest. Hing tai, hing tai, hing tai interest. Not interest as in interest in a loan, but interest as in I'm interested in something. <laughs> so it's a good to know the difference there. It's so. Yeah,、uh, yao hing tai is to have interest. Ma yao hing tai.、Uh, Die、uh, Lei Gong. So I, I'm interested in these things you're saying. Gay. So this is like the question word for how much, like or how, like quantity, and also like very. Several. 
So you could say gay t, which would be like several times. Gay ho, very good. But it also could be used for like gay si, when. Or gay deem, what hour. Gay. Other, else, the rest. This could be a lot of words. I, I think this probably ke ta, which means other. Ke ta. Ke ta. So ke, ke ta yan. Other person. Uh, ke ta. Ke, ke ta. Ke ta di. The other plate. So it just means other. Ke ta. This is. Is this lan, which means difficult? Lan. Lan, yeah. Like, same, similar, alike. Uh, this could be similar, could be uh, tong. This could be ho chi. Let's say tong. Yeah. Tong. And m um tong. M um tong is different. So tong, m um tong. Same or different. San fan si. San fan si is San Francisco. Zhou is to rent. Zhou. This one we got we got wrong so many times, didn't we, during this last several weeks of studying the freshman? I'm still getting this wrong, uh, by the way, in my personal studying as well. This looks a lot like sarang in yings, uh, ying sarang, so to take a photo. So sarang or sarang pin, photograph, they look very similar as I get my T out of the way here so I don't knock it over. So sarang pin. So look at that. It's it's actually really the only difference is Joe has an extra horizontal slash at the top. Otherwise they are the same. Um, so the details matter here when we're as we progress doing the live streams and videos, you know, we're gonna try to dig into more characters, do do more reading and it is something that we'll have to spend some time on, uh, both for our ourselves in our own respective study times, but then on the, on the YouTube channel as well as how, what are the strategies and how do we get better about differentiating between similar looking characters. So Sarang for photograph, Sarang Pin versus Zhou for rent. Okay, so that's Zhou to rent. This was this was Bo again for department, right? Yeah. Bo. Bo. Okay. Uh, this is Ma Fan, just problem or troublesome, yeah. Problematic. Ma Fan. Ho Ma Fan. This is a big inconvenience, big trouble. Uh, is this Z? Is this for discount? Deep. Oh no, this is deep with the P, P, deep. This means, I think this was to pick someone up. The definition in this one's not that helpful. To receive, answer, to meet or welcome. I guess it's kind of like meet or welcome. Uh, but I think it was used in one of the dialogues to mean to pick someone up. Deep. Uh, this is tung, tunging, so like in the past or already happened, I think. Previously. Tunging. Already. Former. Tunging. Tunging. That's kind of a hard one for me. I'll mark it as hard. Dosi is like up until that time or in the future or when it happens. Dosi. When the time comes. Dosi. Dosi. That one's kind of hard for me right now as well. Fairly new, so keep that as hard. Uh, this is zap guan, which is like your habit. Zap guan. Zap guan. And then this would be gunji, gunji, or zao, maybe zao. I think it's probably gunji. 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 
nothing, not very special. So, my gay ho, my gay ho, my gay ho, my gay ho. Ah, yun. I think this is yun, which is distance or far. Yun. Ah, uh, what is this one? Uh, this is not gaijo, which is continue. I, I, I recognize this character, or a set of characters, but I don't remember what it means. Gin, ginjo. It was this architecture or construction. Ginjo. Ginjo. Okay. Convenient. Suitable. So convenient was fong bean. Fong bean. Fong bean. Uh, this is zik. Zik. Uh, this is zik goi. Oh, zik hot. Oh, immediately zik hot. Yeah. Zik hot. My brain, I was sort of circling the answer, but it was like I couldn't. I couldn't really. I'm trying to remember what else Huck is in that I've seen. I know Zik is from Zik Hai, which, which means sort of like, that is to say, Zik Hai. Um, yeah, this means immediately, like right away. Here's Zip again. Zip was to pick up or answer. Zip. This was Ginzo architecture. I'm going to try to remember it with the bamboo at the top right of this character here. So architecture. Ginzo. Ginzo. And then zik hat immediately. Zik hat. Zik hat. Okay, so that was a pretty lengthy set of flashcard reviews. I'm happy with that. I feel like we've picked up a lot of new vocab here for the freshmen. So I guess before we end the session, I did want to mention what we're going to be um, looking at next time. So, drum roll please. Next time we're going to be looking at Ling's Story 2. So, uh, for those of you that have looked at some of the earlier videos on the channel, Ling's Stories 1 was actually the very first story that we went, uh, we studied together on the stream. So we're going to be returning to that with another 10, 10 or so chapters. We're going to follow along with uh, her progression and catch up with uh, her and her family and the different things that she's doing in Hong Kong. So with that, uh, thank you again for listening in, watching along, and uh, hopefully studying along with me. And as always, if you like what you see, uh, you see on the channel, please give me some uh, comments, some feedback, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, click the notification bell and you'll get these notifications as new videos and content comes out. I do a live stream such as this every week, every Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. Chicago time, so Central Time US. And uh, we're going to keep putting out content. So we're going to, I've got some things in the works for some edited short little videos and other content. And uh, we're going to continue on with the live stream once a week doing sort of in-depth studying like we did today. So, uh, yeah, please please share uh, any comments, any feedback you have, any other things you'd like to see. If you want to see more uh, instructional stuff, uh, you know, if you're a beginner and you want to know how do I get started, I, I, I want to learn Cantonese, but I don't know uh, how to dig into it and, and what the right method is, uh, I can certainly help you with that. And I'll be putting out some videos on that topic, hopefully shortly as well. Um, but uh, for today, that's it for for this week's studying, and that's it for the freshmen. Uh, it's a pretty good story, and as I said, we'll start Link's Stories 2 starting next week. Thanks again. Talk to you then.